Hi guys, my name's Ashantin and I am the computer gamer who is swapping from Apple to Microsoft and this is the second in a series of talks I'm giving and this talk is about hardware. <laughs> so if you're going to change from an Apple, you're going to change from a situation where you buy a computer which is set into the back of a screen. The screen is absolutely gorgeous and you are going to have to live with the fact unless you buy a very, very, very expensive laptop, which not many of us might want to afford if we're just in the process of changing, just in case we don't like the change. And you have to face the fact that you have to buy basically three separate bits of kit, in fact four. You have to buy a computer, you have to buy the screen, and you have to buy the keyboard. So immediately you have to decide what you're going to buy. I am exceptionally lucky in that I play with a team of people and one of the people, um, a YouTuber called Karma Kicks, which is a wonderful name because it has sort of two meanings. Um, she actually had done a lot of research. She's not like me changing from Apple to Microsoft. She was someone who was used to Microsoft, used to um, uh, the Windows, and was just researching into what computer would be best for her as a YouTuber and a content creator. But of course, because she had all the research done and had all the specs, um, she very kindly gave me the specs. And I will put at the bottom of this video um, the details of the computer, which is an HP computer, uh, the screen I have, which is an Asus, the keyboard, which is a Razer. I couldn't resist it. They are so gorgeous and also the headset I have, which is actually an old one, but I have uh, dug it out of a tray where it was acquiring dust and got it live again for this setup. And you do suddenly realise that Apple, where you just take something out of the box, plug it in, it's ready to go, has a huge advantage if you are not um, tech literate and you don't actually know what you're doing, what half these ports are. And it's really weird, actually, because the, the sort of level of computer I have, the level of screen, is something that most people would find um, difficult to afford, quite frankly. It's not cheap, and it is specifically for gaming. So the type of people who would buy something like this are people like my friend Karma, you know, my mates MJ, Dor, people like that, who are very experienced IT people and know what they're doing and very experienced gamers. Now, although I'm experienced at gaming, I have no idea what I'm doing on IT. So basically, I've described it my setup to my friends as really a blind woman buying a Ferrari. And because I'm tech blind, it's a very, very good analogy. Um, so I've got a machine, which is what I need for the sort of games I want to play, but tech is way ahead of what I'm used to and they obviously expect those who buy this to know how to put it together. I have
an HP computer. The instructions on how to get this thing wired into anything else are absolute rubbish. There are no instructions. There is just a diagram. And you're expected to understand from this. And where it shows you some of the ports and what they are and what they do, the diagrams actually overlay the diagram of the back of the computer. You cannot understand or see what you're meant to be doing at all. Anyway, that's one problem. The second problem is that the ASUS screen, which is frankly gorgeous, um, came with so many cables. I had no idea whether I needed them or not. There were no instructions. There were some um, diagrams. Again, they were almost as bad as the HP. So basically, the diagrams for both these things, and they're not cheap. They're not cheap. They are complete and utter rubbish. And they obviously what they think you're going to do is go onto the internet and follow instructions on to how to set it up on the internet. I don't know. All I'd say is that I'm just going to dump stuff in this. I'm not going to sort it out. I'll sort it out later. All I would say is that if you think that that's an instruction, you know, for a high-end gaming machine, you guys really have got this wrong. It's very, very poor. Um, in contrast, the wonderful Razer keyboard came with very clear diagrams, very good instructions, um, and was a lot simpler. But it's not just whether you can do it or not, it's whether you think you've got it right, whether you're afraid of it, whether you can actually do this. I was exceptionally lucky, because my entire team, these are the tree team, who will play on tree six and we're gonna play on tree seven together. The entire team, sort of rolled their sleeves up, took a deep breath, um, and once two of our new players, uh, Karma and Shadow Girl, Shadow's Girl, who got to grips with how appallingly uh, tech blind I am, everybody just rolled their sleeves up and waded in to help. And I've had so much help and advice. Uh, one of our players is called Winnie, and she is in New Zealand, and she was really, really helpful. She said to me, just don't worry about it. If the plugs fit the sockets, that's probably the right socket. <laughs> and between all of us, and I had to send my team pictures of the back of the computer. So, guys, if you are going to move from an Apple to a Windows machine and to a setup where you have to plumb it all in, I would very strongly recommend that you get a friend to help you who knows about the other machines. Now, my main problem was where the hell to plug the headset in. It's quite obvious I could plug the headset into either the computer, the Asus screen, or the keyboard. So where did I put it in? I could get the earphones into the Asus screen, but I couldn't, and they worked, so the earbuds worked, but I could not get the headset in. So I was going around in circles, it took me two days. Anyway, the other piece of advice I would give you is not to buy, if you can avoid it, a computer on the internet. I bought mine from the local PC Curry's, sorry, Curry's PC World. And the reason I did it was so that I could actually go in and they were incredibly helpful. They were so helpful when I bought it. Um, once they sort of understood that I wasn't buying a, an off-the-shelf computer, I was buying a, a gaming machine. The guys in there actually were gamers. They understood what I needed. They helped me. Brilliant, brilliant job. Um, more to the point, I can go back and ask them if I can't get something sorted out. You're they don't visit your house to set it up, which would have been brilliant from my point of view. I would have paid a fortune for that. 
Um, but what they will do is they have this telephone line. When it got to the headset, I, f I just couldn't work out where this damn headset went. A friend of mine, Dorg, was brilliant. He said, look, just put it in any USB port. It'll work. Just put it in the one where you get least tangled. And I thought, well, I'd really like it into the computer because that would be the least tangly one. I, the USB ports in the back of this computer were very close to a port that was marked Ethernet. And I assumed because of their proximity, because they weren't marked anything different, that they actually were part of the Ethernet setup. So I didn't think I had any USB ports on this damn machine. I mean, this is, it, this is kids stuff to most gamers. Any eight-year-old who's played with computers could have done this in 10 seconds. But remember, you're dealing with the tech blind. You're dealing with someone who's not worked with this, someone who's been used to plugging computers in, not worrying about them. So iPhone PC world, this absolute hero called Wayne answers the phone and I explain my problem and he said well let's give it a go and I explained what I was trying to do and he said well you know, try this port here try that port there and he got it sorted out in literally five minutes he was of course a computer gamer so different from Apple where anyone you talk to at Apple oh no we don't do that sort of thing so anyway I have it set up and so, as I said, three things. One, make sure you get the right spec. Get your friends to help you. Two, make sure you have someone who can help you set up. And three, if you really are swapping from one system to one you don't know, as I am, um, then, I mean, all my apples I just bought on the internet. And I dare say in the future, I'll be able to buy stuff on the internet. But the first time you change, get it from a proper shop. Um, they can advise you on what you're buying. More importantly, you get some after sales help. So there you are. Just a bit more advice, guys, on the problems of this poor computer gamer who is fighting her way from Apple to Microsoft and Windows. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys.